the lab when I started my career, uh, which have, would have been the 1970s, was very different from the lab of today. Uh, we didn't really have a lot of precautions around blood. Uh, there was not a lot of safety measures being taken. We didn't know a lot about uh, the hepatitis and how it was transferred. AIDS wasn't around. There were no computers. We made our own reagents. We did everything manually. We mouth pipetted, of course. You know, what's the old mouth pipetting? And uh, we sharpened needles, uh, but they were, you know, I told someone that today, we sharpened needles, and she looked at me. I said, we sterilized them too. Uh, we used to make all our own bacteriological uh, media. Uh, for the broth, we got ox hearts from the abattoir, and these were dissected out, minced up, boiled up with, with, with various boffers and so forth, to produce a broth, which is our basic broth. For agar, we used a Japanese seaweed in huge bags, and we extracted the agar from the seaweed. And everything else was everything was handmade. There were no commercial media at all. Everything was handmade. We did work on stainless steel counters, and there was no such thing as grounding for electrical. And so, if you got water on the counter and, and touched it at the wrong spot, you'd get a shock. Uh, today, it's a big. Um consolidated, um, busy lab, and uh, when I started it was small and uh, everybody knew everybody. And they converted a wheelchair washroom into a lab, and that's what the lab was like in, in those days. We turn on the flame photometer for the calciums and phosphorus and step smartly back in case it blew up. Now our instruments back then, when they didn't work, you took them apart. You took apart the IL flame photometer, you soldered new wires, you put in new tubing, you replaced the glass channels or whatever you needed to do. You had a culture counter, you re redid the plumbing in that, and you continued to work. Everything nowadays is computer. They get really choked at me when I open them up and play with their computer boards, so I'm not allowed to do that anymore. They were unsafe places. We didn't know that, but they were unsafe pit places we mouth pipetted. There were no gloves, there were no masks, there was no um, chemical safety. Um, the hazards, well we clean mercury for example, now you don't even find mercury in labs. I remember microbiology, you investigated and identified every organism as far as you possibly could, simply because it was there and you had the time to do it. I think the, the automation that is present now is just awesome compared to what we had, uh, even the initial uh, cell counters that we thought were just the most wonderful things that were ever invented. And no machine could ever, ever do a, a differential. But look at what's happening now. And it's, it's just totally amazing. And then the area of blood coagulation, all the new studies that are coming in. And the whole area, as I say, has just grown exponentially. And I had the privilege, I think, real, real privilege of living through that, of developing and growing through that as a person and in the profession. Mm -hmm.